All right, man, let's talk about uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia. So apparently, you know, people were thinking that now that uh, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney actually, uh, you know, renegotiating that everything was going to go smooth. We was going to have a fight April 20th. But apparently uh, Ryan Garcia uh, and De La Hoya is lowballing Devin Haney. So uh, apparently that's what's going on in these streets. Um, here we go right here. So uh, apparently there's a low ball offer going on. So here we go right here. Oscar, come with the real offer or quit wasting my time. Ryan Garcia, talk to your boy Oscar De La Hoya. Now, um, it seemed like everybody got the same uh, sentiment about or they got the same uh, rebuttal about uh, Oscar De La Hoya, Ryan Garcia offers they send it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Rowley said the offer wasn't right. Uh, who else said the offer wasn't right? Uh, uh, Rowley said it. Uh, T.O. was the first to say it. And now here come Devin Haney. Now, I was led to believe the first time they had they was close to a deal. And um, it just didn't get done. So... Uh, yeah, it just didn't get done. So uh, apparently they wouldn't. It don't sound like they was too close to a deal because they still talking about money and price point and all that stuff. Then, no, nah, you know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, they out here sending out bad deals. Do that surprise me? Absolutely not. Oscar and Golden Boy ain't got no money, and they and they, and they they be trying to take, keep the money for itself. And that's what I spoke on. I spoke on the other day about. I got a video coming today or tomorrow or Monday at the latest. And then I got I talked about it a little bit last night how Mayweather and De La Hoya is agents. You know, I talked a little bit about it last night. So um so yeah, it don't that don't surprise me. That don't surprise me none. I've been I've been telling y'all. I've been telling y'all that. Been telling you all that. Been telling you all that. So, like I can, like I continue to say, man, with uh, with De La Hoya and and, and 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 Floyd Mayweather, Al Heyman, all them jokers is is uh, all them jokers is thieves, bro. They learned from Bob Arum. They was complaining about how Bob Arum was making more money, um. Then the fighters and all that stuff. Remember that he make them. They they went there and they did the same thing that Bob Arum is doing. They finessing these fighters, allegedly robbing these fighters, and then what? Then they they taking all the money and putting it in their pocket. Keep telling y'all that they taking all the money and putting it in their pocket. You know, and, and that's the name of the game. And that's the name of the game. And that's the name of the game. So, um, so, but, uh, but yeah, you know, I don't know if anybody re re rebuttaled or anybody responded, but they ain't really trying to fight him, bro. You know, and probably what's going on behind the scenes is that what's going on behind the scenes is is that I'm gonna tell you what's going on behind the scenes. What they telling them is this: we we want to make the zone April 20th date a pay per view. No more of these bullshit ass fights that Ryan Garcia is uh is doing we want a big fight they go on pay-per-view and you know so you get us a big fight and they try to negotiate with to they tried they didn't want to fight none of them to roly or devin haney but they didn't think, you know, they tried to low, they're trying to lowball everybody until the zone where the money you're offering is not good enough. Either give us some more money, or you know, we just gonna take a, 
another easy fight. And Ryan Garcia, all he take is easy fights. All he take is easy fights. So, you know, they like, you know, um, you know, so there's all probably like we ain't shelving out no more money. We ain't shelving out no more money. So, you know, that's the one thing they kind of look at. They said we ain't shelving out no more money. Either Oscar trying to keep the money for herself, him and Ryan, or uh um, you know, or or Devin asked for too much money, but I think it's the it's the it's the first one because Ryan Garcia. You know, um, Ryan Garcia had Roley say the same thing. He had T.O. say the same thing. Now Devin say the same thing. You know what I'm saying? So, if you know, you got three different people with three different companies saying all the same thing. You know? But... That don't surprise me none. Ryan Garcia is a gimmick. They know it. We know it. Everybody know it. Everybody know it. So for the most part, they trying to find a way to fight another easy opponent. Long story short. They trying to find a way to fight another easy opponent. That's what I'm telling y'all. They trying to find another way to fight another easy opponent. That's all that's all this is. That's all this is. So um, so at the end of the day, when you don't want to fight nobody, you, you say you, you, you ask for too much money or you take low ball offers, you know, you know, so that's what you do. That's exactly what you do. And they lowballing these guys because they really don't want to fight them. And if they do accept the terms, you know what I'm saying? If they do accept the terms, uh, then it's like, all right, you know, we gonna we gonna at least we gonna get the most the most money we can get. At least we gonna get the most money we can get. So. So, I mean, it is what it is. But, uh, but yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll see. But I, I wouldn't count on this fight happening. Even they come to agreement, we all, when, when nobody be surprised, I think it'll be accept, it'll be expected, right? When nobody be a surprise, it will be expected. Um, for Ryan Garcia not to make it to the ring on fight night. And on top of that, Ryan Garcia saying he knew he would lose to Javante Tank Davis. Hold on, let's talk about that. Hold on. Let's see if we can find that. Hold on. Uh, I don't know where I think. Hope I reposted it. Hold on. When he said he knew he would lose to... Uh, He said he'll know he lo he lose to him. Hold on. And don't none of that surprise me. Y'all be paying, y'all be supporting these, 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 these uh money grabs. Y'all be supporting these money grabs, bro. Okay, or well, De La Hoya responded. Let's get to that first. So Oscar say, 
Today's fighters are all business but have no clue how to conduct it. I became a legend because I understood the fight business and the money followed. Look here, bro. Um, you was the same guy that that left Bob Brown because you said Bob Brown was still taking all the money. So now you on the business side of things, and now you telling fighters what you was crying about Bob Arum many, many moons ago. Make that make sense. Is you for the fighter or you for the business? This is funny. You can't call yourself a legend. Laugh my ass off. Let others do it for you, fishnets. Oscar De La Soya said, F yourself. <laughs> I'll be like, I ain't not, I ain't you, Oscar. I don't F myself and fishnets and pay hookers to do that. But my thing is this. You know what I'm saying? So, I, I mean, at the end of the day, now, you know, he on the business side. Well, teach these guys the business side. You know, like Terrence Crawford said, let them sit at the table and see how business is conducted so they can understand where this, that, and the third is going. You know what I'm saying? Let them understand where how, how the money is going and how the money is flowing. That's it. That That's simple, isn't it? But they don't want you to see the business side because and learn it, because then it's gonna take money out their pocket. So it says Ryan Garcia uh, admits he knew he'd lose to, to Davis. Promises revenges versus Tank coming back in blood. So he said he had knew he knew he was gonna lose. He said he knew he was gonna lose. Come on, come on. Let's get to the quote. He said, "For the first time ever, back in the uh, back room, I said to myself, I'm losing this fight. I knew right in the back room." Garcia said the week on the podcast, uh, the week on a podcast with uh, Valuetainment founder Patrick uh, Bet David. Nothing is going right. I'm so weak. None of my punches are coming off sharp. I'm going to lose this fight. I just said to myself, "How am I going to lose this fight? This is going to be crazy." The moment I I caught him. In the second round, I tried to knock him out. I said, I'm so weak. I have to try and end it early. He recovers, and then he drops me. Um, I don't remember him really hurting Tank like that, but maybe he did. He said, I'm going to get everything back in blood. I will never let anyone play with me like that in negotiations ever again. Pause. Uh, that will ever happen. That will never happen ever, said Garcia. I'm going to uh, get so big, uh, get so big, and that Tank has to fight me again, and we're going to do it on the right in the fair terms, we're going to do it right, and I'm going to beat him. Even though he did me dirty and they did all the tricks, these tricks, I'm going to do everything fairly. No rehydration clause. I'm not going to make him go crazy up and wait. We can do it at 40 or 47, whatever he wants. You're never going to play with me again. Fool me once, shame on me. Fool me twice, shame on you. Fool me three times, F the peace sign. Nah, oh, man. He said, I'm going to let the chopper rain on you. This dude is so corny. I'm com I'm coming back for everything. I'm coming back in blood. I'm not effing around, not effing around. Find out. My thing is this, bro. Um, why did you have to fuck around and find out you know, for yourself when De La Hoya Bernard told you not to take that deal? And even everybody knew that was a bad deal. See, you could tell the youth you're making a mistake, you're making a mistake. They still want to go make that mistake. So, And then, allegedly, you tried to turn around and sign with Al Heyman after they did that to you. Come on. The things are moving forward. Devin Haney just hit Oscar De La Hoya. He talking to Bill later today. We'll get this done, said Garcia. So, I mean, he said they're going to get it done. Well, these are the fights you y'all 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 paying for. When these dudes jumping up crazy and wait, right? When these dudes uh 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 they jumping up crazy and wait. Uh when they they trying to do the impossible and y'all trying they trying to sell y'all shit trash like a super fight. All this shit is a money grab. I told y'all Ryan and was a, when Garcia was a run, money grab. Bud and Canelo is a money grab. The Charlos versus Canelo is a money grab. All this shit is money grabs. Y'all keep falling for the mousetrap, bro. And I keep trying to warn guys, these are money grabs. These are money grabs. These are money grabs. These are money grabs. But y'all so thirsty that y'all want to take any in there, any, any old boxing, y'all going to take it. Y'all going to take it. Any old boxing, y'all willing to take it. So 
I mean, it is what it is. Hey, do what you please. Um, you know, you can't tell people how to conduct their business and how to move and what to watch and how to use their pockets. I'm just giving my two cents on the situation. You know, that's all I'm doing. I'm giving my two cents on the situation. So, um, but you know, this this y'all pay eighty nine ninety nine with a person that knew he wasn't gonna win when he signed the contract, and y'all knew he wasn't gonna win, you know, um, before the fight with all this. But people was trying to rationalize this, and you know, and, and this tells you about the character of Javante Davis. This tell you about the character of Javante Davis, bro. He ain't shit. If he got to do all this to uh to beat Ryan Garcia. You really think he getting in the ring with anybody that's respectable? Because Ryan Garcia, I man, I might respect him as a fighter. And maybe he get that respect down the road. But don't nobody, nobody respect with, play him. People play with his name all the time because he's a joke. He's a joke. You know? But he says the first time I said I knew I was going to lose. And, and I'm just looking like, okay. Okay, I reloaded. So, I mean, it's whatever y'all, whatever y'all wanted to be, man. Y'all want to keep getting fooled and 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 and, and buying fights and, and and paying for these fights and all that shit, man. And it's not moving the the uh, boxing. It's not moving boxing forward. Go right ahead. That's on y'all. That's on y'all. <laughs> Shut up. That's on y'all. Y'all don't want to. Y'all don't want to move the. Y'all don't want to move the. Uh, the boxing culture for y'all want to keep making it regress, regress until they hit rock bottom. Go do that. No, you don't get down. He acting up this morning, dog. But I hey, appreciate y'all for watching. Thumbs up the video. Share the video. Subscribe to the channel. Next subscribe button is the bell icon button. Hit all notifications. Increase your chance get notifications. We go live. Drop video. Financially, you want to support the channel? Cash app, dollar sign, CJ Good 313. Venmo, CJ Good 313. PayPal link in the description. Hit the link tree. Find me everywhere there. Peace.